Today, we're diving into one of the most exciting upgrades for the upcoming Galaxy S25 Ultra. Samsung is gearing up to deliver some serious performance boosts, and we've got the latest scoop on what to expect. So let's get right into it. First up, let's talk about the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chip, which is going to power the Galaxy S25 Ultra. We've just seen the first Geekbench 6 benchmark scores for this chip, and let me tell you, they're jaw-dropping. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 has achieved a single-core score of 2,884 and a multi-core score of 8,840. These numbers are breaking records, especially the multi-core score, which surpasses the multi-core performance we've seen from the iPhone 15 Pro. But that's not all. This Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is packed with 8 cores, and its performance cores can reach up to an astonishing 4 GHz clock speed. That's right, a smartphone with a 4 GHz clock speed. This is unprecedented and sets the stage for some incredible performance. Qualcomm isn't just catching up to Apple. They're setting a new standard, especially in GPU performance. Digital Chat Station has hinted at even more impressive graphics capabilities thanks to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, which means Samsung is poised to outshine Apple in this department as well. With such powerful hardware, I'm hoping we'll see some amazing game developments on Android to truly utilize this top-notch GPU. Keep in mind these are early benchmark scores, so the final performance on the Galaxy S25 Ultra could be even better. Now let's shift gears to another exciting development. Samsung might finally introduce satellite connectivity with the Galaxy S25 series. According to a recent software code leak from Android Authority, Samsung is working on an emergency SOS and text messaging service via satellite. This feature would allow users to send and receive messages even in areas without cellular coverage. It's a feature we've seen on the iPhone since the iPhone 14. So it's about time Samsung brings this to their Galaxy S25 series. Additionally, we're anticipating a refined version of One UI 7.0 with the S25 series. There have been several leaks showing that One UI 7.0 draws inspiration from iOS. However, the update has faced some delays as Samsung works out a few issues. We may see the beta version towards the end of this month or at the latest in the first week of September. So at your first look at the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4's Geekbench 6 scores and other exciting upgrades coming with the Galaxy S25 Ultra. What do you think about these performance enhancements and the potential for satellite connectivity? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. That's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you next time. Until then, goodbye.